Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to debug Python functions running in Excel using PyCharm. If you don't already know how to write uh, an Excel worksheet function using Pixel, uh, then I suggest you go back to the pixel.com, pyxll.com homepage uh, and have a look at tutorials there for how to install Pixel and how to get started, uh, and then come back to this video once you've, once you've done that. So to begin with, I've got a, a Python function here called black Shoulder. This is doing an option valuation. Uh, and if I change some inputs, you'll see that the, the output here changes. Now this Python code uh, is in PyCharm here. I've got a file called blackshoals.py and in my pixel config under the modules setting, I've listed the black Shoals module there. Uh, and what we'll see in this video is how using PyCharm, I can set breakpoints and then call the uh, call the function from Excel and have it go back into PyCharm so that I can then step through my code like this and also examine variables and all this kind of stuff, all this sort of stuff that you're used to, to using in a debugger, but when the code's being called in Excel. I'm using Pixel 5 for this video. Uh, if you're using an earlier version of Pixel, then go to the Pixel website, pyxll.com, search for debugging, uh, and find this Debug Your Python Excel Add-in uh, blog post. And if you go to here, you'll find under PyCharm, you'll find all these instructions about how to set up PyCharm uh, to, to debug your Excel Add-in here. Uh, but the method I'm going to show you on this video is, uh, is the one that's highlighted in yellow here that works with Pixel 5. To begin with, we need to add a debug configuration to PyCharm. So here you've got this Add Configuration button. If you go to here, click Add, and then the configuration you want is this Python debug server. So we'll click that. Uh, I'll call it Remote Debug. Uh, what this will do is when we run this, it'll set the PyCharm debug server running, and then Excel will connect to that. If you look here, it's got some instructions about how to use it, but the important bit is this pip install pydev the PyCharm here, and this is the version uh, that we need to match this PyCharm version. So we're just going to copy that onto the clipboard. Uh, and then while we're in here as well, I'm going to change this to port 5000. That's the port that we're going to configure uh, Pixel to use, or it's in fact the, the default port that the, that the Pixel package that we're going to use will, uh, will use. So click OK there. And then now in a terminal, I'm going to paste that pip install PyDevD PyCharm with the version that we want. And it just takes a second to install. And then we'll also need to install another package, so pip install, and this time it's pixel PyCharm. So this pixel PyCharm uh, is what's going to add the, the debug button to our ribbon. We'll see that in a second. And there we go. So now I've installed those two things. If I start Excel now, What we will see in this uh, pixel tab is that now we've got this PyCharm debug button. And what that's going to do is connect to our, our PyCharm session. What I need to do next is start running this remote debug target that I just created. So I do that by clicking this little green bug button here. And then when I do that, you see it says here waiting for process connection. And it's saying here it's waiting on port 5000. Now, when I click this new PyCharm debug button here, it asks me, have I started it on 5000? So yes, I have. And then here it says connected to PyDev debugger. And so there we go. So now I'm connected. If I just open up that Black Shoals file again, we can test that by putting a breakpoint in our code, running this function, or I just change a number, which will cause it to run. And then I've hit my breakpoint here. I can step over things using these buttons or using the shortcuts. And then I can see uh, any, any values. Now, if I want to change this code, I can do. That's no problem. So if I just go in here and add something new, uh, just print that out. All I have to do now is just save this file. Uh, there's no need to restart restart the debugger or, or restart PyCharm or anything like that. I can just leave it as it is, leave it connected to Excel, and then back in Excel, do reload pixel, 
that reloads the Python module that I'm loaded here. And then if I go into this function again, I can step through it. It's got the latest version of the source code and I can see the, the variables and everything as before. And then continue that here just by resuming. If I was to, to stop the debugger by doing this here, now Excel is no longer connected, so I can't step through this code anymore. What I can do though, is just reconnect by pressing the PyCharm debug button again. And this time it's asking me if I've restarted the PyCharm remote debugger. In this case, I haven't. Uh, so I need to go back into here, start this again. And now when I click this here, it'll now reconnect to that debugger. And I'm back to the same state that I was in before where I can step over this code again. Now, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, we've seen in this video how to connect Excel to the PyCharm debugger. Uh, it's a really useful thing to be able to do, especially when you're you know, not sure why something's not working or you're getting some error messages. You can go in and, and check the input values as you're calling your code. Uh, I always encourage people to write code that's that's testable though. So for example, being able to call your functions outside of Excel, either in unit tests or as part of your continuous integration testing, that kind of thing is really powerful. Uh, it really helps you keep your, your code robust. Uh, but you know sometimes there's no substitute for just being able to step through some code to understand what's going on. So hopefully this will help you do that. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help at all, then as always, please just contact us.